Okay. Oh, fuck, sorry. Take your time, take your time, take okay. your time. Now you're turning in. Sick, uh, you have to watch the cyclist. Oh, He's yeah. on his own. Oh, no, stop, 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 stop. Oh my god, stop. Stop, stop. stop it. Okay. We're not going. Okay, now. Okay. <laughs> watching in between the cars. Right foot, press it gently. Oh, watch that silver car, he's being really silly with it. Hiya guys and welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Ammon and today I am doing another driving lesson with Savannah. Hiya. Welcome back to the channel. Now, how was your last lesson? Um, It was interesting to see like how bad I am at knowing to go back into first gear and yeah. like how reliant I am on like the teacher telling me mm -hmm. do this, do this, do this, do this. So we so. kind of, um, yeah, so today's lesson, we're gonna, you're not bad by the way, <laughs> okay? It's just, yeah, you, you're kind of used to, that's yeah. it, yeah. So that's the plan today, um, to try and get you aware of what you're doing and just doing it, in, doing it independently, like I said. And um, what we'll do is, we're gonna be on the same sort of roads as last time. And um, we'll start off with, do you want me to talk you through one or two first, just so you get used to the sequence of kind of mirror signal manoeuvre? Yeah. Yeah? So we'll do one or two where I'm talking it through, just kind of get you into that sequence. Mm -hmm. And then I'll cut down my instructions so that I'm prompting you, just to kind of get you going, oh wait, what should I be doing at this point? And just remember that for your, for your sequence. Yeah. And then the aim is by the end of today's lesson that you are independently checking your mirrors in the direction you're going. Yeah. signaling then slowing down and then assessing whether you need to stop or go and then kind of dealing with it all right now the roads are going to be quite busy today because it's first thing in the morning so just be mindful of hazards so again do what we were doing last time where you're um talking out about the hazards that you see <laughs> bless you sorry <laughs> so do what you were doing last time because i think that really got you alert and actually breaking for the hazard as well okay mm. yeah um Anything else that I probably haven't mentioned? Are you happy with all that? Yeah. So that's the main objective for today's lesson. If we manage to get through all of that, we're going to try and um, work on mini roundabouts around here as well. And there's crossings and stuff like that. Yeah. If you guys enjoy watching these videos, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. Let us know what you thought of Savannah's drive today. I know you guys really enjoyed um, the last episode. And actually, I, I forgot to mention it at the beginning, but we are going to make this a series. Let's do this. Okay, so whenever you're ready, I'm, I'm actually the one that needs to get ready. You're ready. So what I want you to do quick, okay. is to start the engine and let's drive off. Do you want to give this a go Sorry. on your own? Yeah, the engine started. N no, no, it's just the ignition at the moment. Oh, okay. I don't know how to do that. Start the engine. Yeah, just start the engine. Um, go down. Yeah. That. That's oh, it. and put it into just, Okay, do you want me to talk you through it? Yeah. Maybe. So clutch and brake. Okay. Cool. Now press the ignition again and okay. the engine's going to start. Okay, yeah? cool. All right, now put it into gear. Cool. Do all your checks. Checks. Once you're happy that it's safe to go, just signal on. Parking brake off. Do you remember where the parking brake is? Oh, sorry. Um, parking brake. Yeah, and then get your feet ready. And just do that final check over to the right. Just sorry, sorry. if it's if it's rolling back, Savannah, you're just not on the biting point. So not just give the, the clutch point. a little lift when it rolls back. Okay. Yeah. Just do the, just do that check again, and then get your feet ready. Right foot. Press with it. Press with it on the accelerator. Uh, right foot. The, the other one. Yeah. Good. Now press the accelerator. Brilliant. Okay, we have a van coming towards us. Don't panic, stay in the middle for now, just break a little. There we go, there is enough space. All good? Yeah. All right, we're gonna take the next road on your left. It is just after that yellow van. I'm gonna talk you through this, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is check your interior mirror, then the left one, so my way. Now yeah. signal this way. Good, now just gently brake and get your speed close to 10. Look at your speed, is it close to 10? Look into the junction and turn after the lady. Quicker with your hands so that you stay on your side of the road. And once you're in the new road, just check what's behind you without moving your head. Sorry. There we go. And then drive. So the next one, we're going to make a right turn. So towards you. Do you want me to talk you through it again or do you want to try um, prompting on the next one? 
Yeah, I'll try it. Yeah, so you've got the little sequence on the sticker there. Yep. So think about the first thing you want to be doing. You can see the hazard line, which means the junction is coming up. So um, mirror. Yeah. Signal. Perfect. Now this time we're on the side road. So we're going to stop, aren't we? Yeah. Good. Think about how you stop. Yeah. Clutch down. Sorry. Good. Put the clutch down slightly early next time, okay? Yeah. Now that you've stopped, there's one important thing you're going to do. Um, and then go into gear Perfect. one. Perfect. Brilliant. Now get your feet ready. All good? Yeah. So did you realise that time we were on the side road? Um, yeah. Because you had the give way line. Yeah. yeah? There is enough space. Keep it nice and steady. There we go. We can see there's enough space because you can see the two cars in front and how they dealt with it. Yeah. Okay, now you can see we're definitely stopping there, right? Mm -hmm. So get your feet ready. How do we stop? We break and yeah. put into clutch. Good. And now that you've done the two, there's one more thing. Then I get into first. Perfect. So have that in your mind. If you know you're stopping, it's going to be brake, clutch, then gear. Yeah. Okay, now with your feet, when you move off, you're going to move your right foot to the accelerator, yeah. pressing it, and then bringing the clutch up. Okay. Okay. Pre pressing the accelerator. Yeah, so right, right foot, pressing gently, but focus. Really nice move off there. Okay. Oh. That was really good. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Good. Now, what do we do next? Okay. Okay, Savannah, I'm going to get you to park up on the left-hand side, not right here, but just in the distance. I'll tell you where. But again, I want you using the same sequence for parking. Now, do you see that black car up there? Yeah. If you can park up just before that black car, but leave enough space to move off for next time. Okay. So, so think about how you're parking. Mirror. Good. Signal. Mm hmm. Um, Not too close. Yeah. Good. Yeah. What do you do now that you've stopped? Neutral. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, one Come. more really important thing we haven't done yet, and it should have been the first one. Um, Push it. Sorry. Good, now you can switch off the engine, have a little break. Really well done. Good. That's a good park up. All right, um, I just want to talk about why you don't want to be holding the brake while you're finding the biting point. Yeah. Okay, because what you're doing there is, I know holding the brake means you won't roll back. Okay, yeah. but holding the brake also means you won't feel the biting point. Okay, yeah. and, and the clutch is all about really feeling where that is and how to release it from that. As soon as you know you want to go, your right foot should go over to the accelerator and start accelerating to 1.5, which yeah. is well, that dial right over there. I couldn't even find it for a second. That dial right over there to 1.5. And that's about the depth of the pound coin, so it's about that much. Yeah. Yeah, that's how much you, you want to go. Okay, I'm moving. There it is. Uh -huh. You kind of just get used to the, the feel for it, the sound. Yeah. yeah? Um, once you've done that, yes, there is a chance you're going to roll back. Especially mm -hmm. if you're on a gradient, you're going to roll back. But most new cars, they will hold for a few seconds, which gives you enough time to go, okay, I'm moving off. So move over to the accelerator and yes. get the clutch. That's it. So you know where the biting point is roughly in this car, right? Yeah. Would you say it's at the bottom of the clutch, the middle of the clutch, or the top of the clutch? Or middle to middle to top okay so you know as soon as you're moving off you don't need to go slowly do you from the bottom yeah, you can yeah. just go from the bottom get to the middle and then slowly yeah and then do the accelerate at the same time yes cool so when you're driving it's really a simultaneous movement there like that it's yeah. not hold the brake and then up and then it's just too much and same on. for like gear two to three yeah, but when, you, when you're when you switching gears, because you're already up to that speed, you don't need to be accelerating whilst you're lifting it up okay. because your car's already in motion. I can just do the... Yeah, you can okay. just do clutch and then up. But uh, obviously, after um, when you're driving on like bigger roads in 40s, 50s, 60s, you don't want to go clutch and then accelerate. There is a fine point where you can have them both. So once you're above the bike, you can accelerate. Yeah. But for now, don't try and do too much. Just do what feels easy for you. Yeah. All right, yeah. so whenever you're ready, let's start the engine. Okay. Will it start like that? No. Good. So put it down. Yeah. And Good, then. and then do it again. <laughs> so it won't start unless you've done it that way. Okay. Um, gear one. Mm-hmm. 
and then do my checks. Mm -hmm. Signal. Good, but we'll wait until after oh, these cars. In the meantime, I would turn the parking brake off because you're holding the brake already. Brilliant. So when you notice the last car, then put your indicator on and then blind spot and then your feet. So indicator on, blind spot, now get your feet ready. Take your time with it because it's a bit of a tight squeeze in this space. So squeeze the clutch down. That's it, take your time, really nice. We're going to turn right where these cyclists are. So signal on, just let the little kid know no. you're turning in. Signal. You actually watch the cyclist, he's oh, yeah. on his, oh, no, 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 not yet, not yet. Oh, not yet. Now turning. Now turning. We don't want to cut that corner. You see why it was so important to check your mirrors there? Yeah. Because that's cyclist. Yeah. Really nice. Oh, why is it doing that? No, no, no. Okay. Why did it do that? Um, Because I had my clutch down as I was. Going. Go into the middle of the road. You see, middle, fully in the middle. Stay yeah. there for now, don't move left just yet until when this red car disappears then yeah. slowly come across to the left, slowly. Okay. That's it, and then straighten up. We'll talk about that later. Mm -hmm. Get back into the middle of the road again. Now we've got a junction where we are on the side road. You can see that with the hazard line. Yeah. We're gonna turn right. Okay. Remember, we're stopping at the end, so start with your feet and come back to your side of the road, come back. <clears throat> and now that we've stopped, that's all good. One more, one more. Change gear. Oh, sorry. sorry. Take your time with it. Clutch down. Sorry. Hold the brake. Okay, now move your right foot over. Right foot over. Yeah, and then clutch, hold it. Look up and down the road. Look up and down this way. There we go, and then keep turning. Good. Now we're going to park up behind the blue car, but leave more space than you did last time, okay? Just pop your indicator on. Good. Just use the car in front. Just go after this tree just because it's sticking out slightly. That's it, just use the car, think about your feet and stop about here. Stop about here. That's really well done. Secure the car, so handbrake first. Then neutral. Brilliant. And switch off the engine. And the indicator when you get the chance. You doing okay? Yeah. Okay, all right, so when we turned into that road, the car jutted slightly. Yeah. Okay. There was a combination of two things there. You were a little too slow for second gear. Yeah. So we needed to be a bit faster and then second gear. But also because of the way you brought the clutch up. Yeah. It was a bit quick. So the car was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that was. Okay. All right. So you can see here, there's a hazard line here in the middle of the road. Yeah. Can you see up there? There's a hazard line again. Yeah. So that tells you that there's a junction at that point. Uh -huh. So if you look behind the tree, you can see what kind of junction it is. What is yeah. it? Yeah. What's that blue sign? Uh, roundabout. Perfect, we're turning left. Now okay. we can't see, can we? No. So, so what are we doing? Perfect. Just stop there, there we go. Good, now what do we do now that you've stopped? Um, lift up. First gear. First gear. So now right foot. And right foot up. Yeah, and left foot go slowly just body. feel. There it is, just get yourself to the end. Have really. a look that way. Can we go? Keep looking and really nice. Is that okay? Yeah. So as soon as you stop, it's going to be right foot, left foot, uh -huh. in that order. Good. Three, two, one. As you're lifting the clutch, three, two, and one. Yeah. Now, Savannah, what do you see in the distance? What's going on up uh, there? Traffic. Traffic. What is actually up there? Why is there traffic? Around uh, roundabout. A roundabout. Okay. Whoa. What is he doing? We're going that way. Think about the sequence, yeah. So, put my thing down and mm -hmm. clutch down. Mm -hmm. Good, tell everyone where we're going as well. And we're gonna go on the By second. By indicating. Second exit. Signal. Signal. Yay, that's how okay. we tell everyone where we're going. Sorry, I was telling the people that were watching. <laughs> go on, put your indicator on. <laughs> put it into first gear. Okay. I think I need to change how I'm saying that because I remember when I did Safro's lesson, I said, tell everyone where we're going. We're just driving on a straight road. He goes, oh, I'm turning left. And I said, yeah, with your signal. Yeah. <laughs> we're always thinking about the vehicles around us, the pedestrians, yeah. the hazards, okay? Mm -hmm. If you just come over to my side slightly, and just stop there for a second. What we'll do, Savannah, yeah. we'll go that way. That is okay. way too much so, traffic to sit through. Wait, so perfect. Do that I first. Do that. Now with your feet, right foot. 
Um, now watch that car. Yeah. Is he, wait, wait, wait. Is watch he coming it. this way? Good. Uh, now go look here. Take your time. Watch this mirror as well. Just in case, like a cyclist. Yeah. Yeah. It's way too much traffic. What's going on there? Yeah. Really nice. Very nice. Good. No clutch. Get your left foot on the side. Thank you. Yeah, I oh, I love this. Look, you can look at how yeah. narrow that space is getting. Now you can see that van is sticking out, isn't it? In comparison. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be careful when we're passing the van. Mm -hmm. And keep watching in between the cars. If a pedestrian is stepping in, because that car is really badly positioned, the grey one. Yeah. So I would brake yeah. as you're going through that space, but don't move left. Otherwise, you're going to hit the van trying to get away from her. Yeah. Move a little bit right. More right. Thank you. Cool. You doing okay? Uh huh. Yeah. Anyone behind us? No. Okay. Little glances here and there. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. What do you see up there? Uh, traffic lights. Before that. <clears throat> Yeah, width restriction. Now this white car is here. I think he's going to move. Just be careful. Okay. Brake and clutch. Position like you're parking. I'm going to help you. Brake and clutch, please. Come in a bit more. Just keep the clutch down for me, okay? I'm going to help you yep. just because it's kind of narrow here. You got it? Just keep the car straight. Don't look back. Just look forward. Yeah. Take your time with your feet and check the right mirror and move around. Just like what we said about parking earlier, you don't want to watch your mirrors to see what, what you need to do in front. Yeah. yeah. Really, really nice speed and then quickly change gears. Three seconds to release. Good. So how do you feel like you're doing with uh, going through that sequence of checking your mirrors and signalling and braking? Yeah, like, I feel like, because obviously it's something I'm not used to, so then it, suddenly it feels like, oh, a lot. There's not like enough that. space after the crossing. So what do we do? Uh, break. Gosh. Yeah, brilliant. Is that it? And check my mirrors. Is that it? And then ah, okay, up. perfect. Good. Just for next time, you see this here? We want to try and keep this clear as well. Okay. It is a private entrance, but the last thing we want is a truck comes along wanting to make a delivery. Yeah. yeah? Now, with your feet, get ready. Before you move, really nice. Really well done there. She is going to cross, isn't she? Yeah. So you always look behind the pillars like that because it's really easy to miss pedestrians. Uh -huh. Now, when you're moving, make sure you're pressing your right foot down. Press it. Yeah, we can go. There's, an, there's enough space. We want to try and make some progress as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay? So we want to move around this van early. Wait, what way am I going? Go around him. He's parked. Oh, okay. He's parked, by the way. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Don't... Can you see here on your left? Watch. You're quite close. A bit close. Yeah. So we should have moved over earlier. Mm. Alright, so watch the traffic light. You'll see these guys clear in a minute. And get your right foot. Press it gently. Okay. Watch that silver car. He's being okay. really silly there. Okay. Good, take your time. Okay. Every time you move off, even though we had a green light, we still scan the junction. Yeah. Because he moved through red. But silly. Yeah. But really nice with your feet though. Yeah, it's scary though. But I control feel like the clutch. I'm gonna go. Yeah, but control the clutch. Yeah. Okay? Okay. It is actually a roundabout, you can't okay. see the signs. But we're gonna make a left turn. Cool. Yeah. So check my mirror. Good. Make a left turn. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then? Um, and get one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so and then I go like that. Can we go? Can we, can uh, we go? Stop, okay, stop, no, stop, we, stop, stop, stop. Oh my god, stop. Stop, stop. stop it. Okay. We're not going. Okay, now. Okay. <laughs> Feet ready. Right foot, move it across. After the bus, maybe. Yeah? Um, Up slightly. Should I go? No, not anymore. Because okay. we're already in the <laughs> junction. Get your right foot over. Looking ahead, after the van, just hold the brake again. If you look forward, Fana, yeah. it's a red light. So we can go forward now as long as they're waiting for you. So eye contact with the driver. Yeah, and then slowly go forward. Watch the driver to make sure that they're looking at you. Because if they're looking at you, they're going to give way. Yeah. Okay? And stop again. Right foot, left foot. Take your time on that clutch. Sorry. It's okay. It's all good. Here we are. Just okay. step off the accelerator slightly just because it's quite a narrow space and people like to walk out. Don't go that way though, don't go that way because we've got our own lane. Yeah. Speed up a little bit here. Brilliant. Now we're going to move into the right hand lane. So if you check that mirror, check mirror. actually what we'll do, yeah. we'll stay here. Okay. I've changed my mind. <laughs> 
Okay, so we're on an, in on an incline, right? Yep. When you move off, you're gonna accelerate and then clutch, keep lifting. Go on, accelerate. And then clutch, oh. hold. Really nice. You're okay. not gonna roll back if you keep doing that. Yep. Okay? Because you're not even giving the car enough time to start rolling back. Yeah. Okay? So we're going that way. So what are we doing for turns? Wait, oh, and How do we tell people we're turning? Wait, we're gonna turn. Yes. Gonna Good, work. and then feet, think about it. Listen to the car. Uh, Very nice. Okay. Good, now listen to the car. You can make yep. the gear change. Okay. Very nice. Oh, what's oh, this man doing? <laughs> <laughs> Slowly with that clutch Sorry. release. So just okay. one, two, three. Yeah. He's literally he's still in the he's still in the middle of the road. Yeah. But he's still on the road. Yeah. Okay, so I want you focusing on how you're braking and how you're stopping. So we're gonna make a left turn here. I want you to show me how you stop at the end. And remember to change. Yeah. Perfect. Now get your feet ready. Really nice. Lean forward and really slowly edge out on sorry, this one. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, and just check the left mirror in case anyone's caught up with you. Very nice. Two can fit down there, by the way. Just not with a bus. Sorry. It's alright. You know why I did that? Yeah, because I was too uh, slow. Perfect. All right, so what speed are you going to be driving down these roads now? 20. Are we up there yet? That's it. Okay, so I'm going to get you to turn left shortly. And I want you to make sure you actually press the brake, get it down to what number? Um, 10. 10 to make the turn. Can you see the white bollards uh, on the right? Yeah. There's a junction opposite them, so we're turning in here. Cool, so check Yeah, and what speed are you going to get to? 10. How do you get to that speed? Start braking. Yeah. And we've missed the junction. Oh, sorry. <laughs> White bollards. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> you can take that one. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm turning. Yeah, nice and quick with your hands. Very nice. Do you feel okay? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I was like, this feels too fast for the junction. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, she's going to miss it. And now I want you to turn left up there. Turning left. Turning left. So we're on the main road this time. So that means I can just Yeah, go. just break in case someone's here. So they actually recently changed the road marking there. I don't know if you can see the Yeah. Yeah, road marking there. The road we were on actually uh -huh. used to be the side road. Okay. But yeah. they repainted everything. Yeah. Alright, what what's this? Roundabout. Perfect. We're going straight. Be sure to go around it slightly. Yep. Good. Good. Yeah. Really nice. Very nicely done. Very nice clearance from that first car as well. Good position in the road. Really carefully here because we can't see that bend. All right, I'm gonna get you to try some junctions completely independent now. Just yeah. giving you directions. I'm not talking okay. you through anything. Cool. Going straight on. Straight on. Um, that means I have to- Stop let... here. To stop here. Remember, you're trying to be independent here, okay? Yep. Should I wait for them to... She was actually waiting for you. Oh. But just look at, look at the sides. If that's clear, we can continue because she's waiting for you. But if she moves, just wait for okay. her. Just keep looking to the sides. Can we go? Yeah. Yeah, okay. She... No. Yeah, after them. Looking again. So your main priority is these guys. Yeah. Then the person in front. Now he's going to park, so I suggest you stop here. Quickly. Now how could you tell he was going to park? Because he stopped. He did a bit of a, a yeah. left curve. And plus the speed, he was very slow when he did it. Yeah. There we go. Very nice. Don't rush. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Remember, you're trying to be independent, yeah. dealing with this stuff, dealing with the turns, not being reminded with the gears. Yeah. Turn left here. Yeah. Braking. Yeah. Um, now I'm turning. Oh. Brake clutch. Fuck. 
Just no, no, you're good. Just stop there. Okay, stop there. First gear, you, you, your turn was really nice. Okay. Now don't rush this bit. Take your time with it. Come on. Okay. Clutch control. He's waiting for you. Don't rush. Take your time. Really take your time with it. Your turn was really nice. As soon as you've seen him, your foot's already on the brake. Just chuck that clutch down. You've stopped. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I know it's probably a bit hot in the car. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm going to get you to do a few more turns like that. Um, I think talking yourself through it like that is really helping you. Mm -hmm. Anything you're not sure about, just ask away. Okay. But try and do everything on your own. So, left at the roundabout, first exit. So, checking the mirrors. Go left. And there's no one coming, so I can go. Mm -hmm. And then left again at this roundabout. Again, there's no one coming, so I can go. Mm -hmm. You notice how on these two roundabouts we could we could kind of see towards the right, we could see the junction. Yeah. Yeah? So that these junctions are a bit more open. They're not fully open because uh -huh. you couldn't see up until we were closer to the junction. But I want you to look at this crossroads here because yep. this is a closed junction. Okay. So and you've got to stop. Yeah, so you're more likely to stop. But this time we're actually on the main road. You remember where the Audi was when the lady was trying to turn across your path? Yeah. We had to stop that time because yeah. we couldn't see the signs. So we're going to come across the same crossroads, but this time we have the priority. So can you see here? Uh -huh. We really can't see what's on the left and right. Yeah. But we have priority this time, so we just look and we continue. Whereas they will be stopping. Stopping. Okay. All right, I want you to take the next road on your left. It is where the gray little wall is. Oh, he was about to. Yeah. <laughs> so we can't see in here, can we? No. Is it okay that I've put You my can, yep, down? yep. Now, when you're in the new road, you've got to A, change gear, or B, bring the clutch up slowly. That's your two okay. options. But well done with the gear change. Um, no, because I have my clutch down. Yeah. Is that. It's coasting, coasting technically, yeah. yes. If you can park up behind the grey car, cool. it is coasting because your clutch is down, but yeah. we kind of needed to do that there because of the speed and gear that you were at. So, signal yeah. here. Now, just use the car in front, not the left mirror anymore. And we're stopping, aren't we? Yeah. So just use the car. Very nice stop. Okay. What do you do now? Yeah. All done? Yeah. Really good question there. So that was coasting. Anytime the clutch is down, you're disconnecting the engine from the tires. And the turning that we turned into, it's quite narrow, we couldn't see, there were parked cars on either side, you see you were braking. And as soon as you noticed that, you kind of put the clutch down, but you were yeah. braking, which is good. If you weren't braking, you would have gone too fast, because you kind of pick up momentum as you go in. Yeah. Once you're in the new road, you've either got to bring the clutch up slowly, because you have yeah. to build that speed back up in the gear, or you change gears, and we went okay, for a gear cool. change. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not an issue what you did there. Okay, because I'm going slow. Yeah. But what you could do next time is when you notice that, oh, I can't really see into that road, as soon as you get that inkling that I need to put the clutch down, just get that gear in and clutch out. But obviously yeah. that can be a bit overwhelming, thinking, I'm turning, change gear, do, just deal with it later. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. All right. Um, are you getting the whole concept of open junctions, closed junctions, noticing the difference between the two? Yeah. Yeah? So if you're approaching the... If you're approaching any kind of junction in front, the first thing you want to be looking at is priorities, if you're main or side. Then you've got to think, is it open or closed? And because we're driving in London, 90% of them, 95% of them will be closed, yeah. which means we're going to be stopping, then looking, yeah. then going. Yeah. Whereas if it's open and you've got a park on the right, you can just see through and just make a decision. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, should we go on the main roads a little bit? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Okay. What type of hazards are we going to see on the main roads? Um, just people, um, cyclists, and mm -hmm. um, lots more traffic lights, yeah. and zebra crossings, pedestrian crossings, buses. Yeah. yeah, 
Okay, so we're still doing what we were doing around here, but anticipating more hazards on the road, pedestrian crossings and things like that. Um, yeah, when you're ready, cool. let's go. All right, let's do some hazard perception here. Tell me what you see. So, traffic light. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone waiting at the traffic light? Yeah. Okay, so that means the chance of it changing is very high. Yeah. Ah, huh, look at that. Good, and what were we just talking about? Perfect. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we're on an incline, mm -hmm. so it's really important you press that accelerator. Okay. So as soon as it flashes amber, start pressing that accelerator. Yeah. Really good. No rolling back. Yeah, you can go. Okay. Oh, fuck, sorry. Take your time, take your time, take okay. your time. What traffic light is that if it's flashing amber? Um, that's a pelican. Yeah. Yay. So can we go if the lights are flashing but nobody is in the road? Yeah. Okay, we're here now. All right, we're going to turn right at that roundabout where the bus is going. Go, go closer to the right. Closer. Closer, closer, closer. Now make sure to go over the roundabout slightly if you need to. That's it. Um, That's it. Go. Just on the edges. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Just break a little yeah. bit to control it. Okay. That's it. I know your clutch was down. Good. Be careful here because we're moving off in second. So how do we move off in second? Slowly. With the accelerator on. The accelerator. There we go. Works. Because we're on a downhill there it just rolls into that speed so it's quite easy yeah. all right so that's the end of your driving lesson today how have you felt about today's drive yeah i've it i feel like i'm definitely getting better as a driver yeah and um, i just need to always remember to go back to gear one yeah that's kind of where we're at the minute uh, in terms of what we started off with which was the main aim was getting you anticipating what's happening ahead and actually remembering to check your mirrors signal slow down yeah. i feel like that part is really good yeah um, what I want to do for next time is continue with that, but this time actually get you going up to faster speeds and actively braking. Because yeah. sometimes... I just roll with it. Yeah. yeah, you kind of roll with it and that's kind of slowing you down. So we need to actually be speeding up and then slowing down with the brake when we need to, okay? Oh, um, let's talk about the gears. So yes, you need to go into first gear. That's something we're actively yeah. working on. Now, earlier we, when you were changing gears you changed into second a bit early didn't you yeah okay we were around seven eight miles per hour now how did we actually move off in the gear at that speed um slowly like even slowly more slowly lifted up the gear mm -hmm. and put down the accelerate so i was like building up speed building. perfect before. okay quick question for you do you think it's possible to move off in second gear from stationary and I think we might have had this discussion last um, time. Yeah, but if you really know what you're doing. Okay, so how would you manage that if you were at zero and you're trying to move off in second gear? Um, you just hold the gear down for until you're at past ten. Yeah, that's it. So if you happen to ever be in the wrong gear, yeah. you manage it with your feet. Yeah. Okay, and that's what I want you to just get used to. So instead of looking at the speed, you're kind of just feeling the clutch and you can feel it in the speed of the car as you're rolling as well yeah. okay so it doesn't matter if you're in the wrong gear just kind of work with it yeah obviously don't use second gear or third gear trying to move off uphill that's not going to work because it's yeah. much much harder but if you're downhill if you've already got some momentum it's quite easy yeah. okay um thinking if there's anything else worth mentioning i think we've gone over everything throughout the lesson Open close junctions, that's all good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hazards, traffic lights, I think that's all good. I think we've covered everything. Okay, well, that's it then. That's the end of today's lesson. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have and you enjoy watching this series, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below, let us know what you learned in today's video. And um, <clears throat> be sure to follow and check out Savannah's channel. Everything is linked down in the description. Um, that's it. We're all good. See you next time. Bye. Bye.